All right, Knights of Apollo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the greatest story ever told. The Adventures of Biggest... Well, actually, you know what? I don't want to say his whole name. I don't want to say his whole name because I don't know if I can. Because four of the last 11 videos on my channel has been put on limited ads. I am saying something or doing something that YouTube does not like and look i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't get enough views to handle this okay this is not good i don't know if it's my jokes i don't know if i'm saying too many bad words but a lot of my videos lately have been put on limited ads four of the last uh 11 so that's almost half it's a little less but uh, I don't know what's going on, so guys, I need some love right now. I need some likes, I need some shares, and of course, I need some subscribers. Uh, I'm going to try to be a bit more PG in these episodes, so uh, I might take it to extreme levels, almost in an ironic sense. So hopefully it's still entertaining, but YouTube, YouTube is at war with the biggest D. Okay, Biggest D. They're at war with Biggest D and I don't like it. Also, guys, I've been trying to reach 900,000 before the end of the year. Every time I mention that, I go, hey, you know, if you guys could subscribe and help me out, it would be the best gift I get for Christmas. And every time, you guys, you do great. It, it spikes. Look at this. It, my subscribers spike every time I ask. So I'm just going to keep asking, guys. <laughs> Because we're like less than like 2,000 away. It, it is, it's, it's possible. We can do this if you just, if you like the series, if you like my stuff. Now, don't subscribe and, you know, if you don't like me or I guess you wouldn't do that anyways. But just if, if you're watching me, hey, give me a subscribe. I'm almost at 900,000. And then in the year 2023, we're hitting that million. We're hitting that milli. All right. So that's enough talking. Let's get to the action. I tell my wife that every- Oh, yeah, I can't do jokes like that anymore. Dang it. No, um, let's get back to the action. Uh, we're at peace right now, all right? And this, this is a much needed peace because we have a lot of housekeeping that we need to do. We need to make sure this castle is running functional, like they're, they're, it's functioning well. Uh, we also need to make sure my wife has a happy, healthy baby, and we need to destroy this bandit camp because it's terrorizing my people, my villages and stuff. And we need to reorganize our caravans because they were all captured, so we need to get them going again. So the first thing we're gonna do is take out this bandit camp, yay! All right, guys, here we are. Now I gotta stay extra quiet because we are attacking, uh, there we go, fire well, okay. There we go, okay, you're already firing. All right, well, the jig is up, fire! Okay, so we're gonna move forward. I'm just gonna, I, I basically just brought all archers. This is not gonna be a big deal because, uh, look at the balance of power. They actually don't have a lot of bandits here. This is a really cool bandit camp too. I've never been here before. It's very mountainous. I feel like I'm in I'm in the Smokies right now. Ah, get back and put on a t-shirt. What do you think you're cool? Nobody wants to see that. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, look at this. We got a little cabin in the woods. What are you, the Unabomber? Ah. Okay, I, I gotta chill it with the jokes, guys. I, I feel like this is already gonna get demonetized. <laughs> All right, here we go. I think this is going to be it. I think this is the, the last of the uh, the Mohicans here. Yes, you stand no chance. Stop harassing my people. Get away from my villages. Well done. Oh, wait. No, there's a little bit more. I'm going to battle this guy um, to a duel. And I got to be careful here because... I don't have a, sh well, I have a shield, but okay, that was easy. Yay! Yay! You get a kiss at the end, because you're kind of cute. Now, here's the problem. If you look down at our money, we're making negative 500 a day. And that's not good enough. Uh, we need to make, we need to make positive. Positive good, negative bad. So, we got to find our uh, caravan folk. Uh, so we got the spice vendor. So she's near here. Um, 
Is there a way to... Oh, yeah. Wait, she's leading a party right now? What? Hold up. Oh, okay. Never mind. She's uh, she's in business. Okay, that's a little disheartening because I was hoping all of my caravans weren't in business because, you know, I mean, there's a couple that aren't in business. We got to get them going. We got to get them going because uh, I was hoping like we could activate them all and then start a lot of, you know, start making a lot of money. But I think we only have one caravan going right now. So I think we can get two more going somewhere. So let me just head. Well, okay, let's look for the other ones. So my other caravan is this swift lady. She's staying at our, our, our gone or or whatever. Uh, so we, we need to go up here and go get her and start another caravan. Okay, here we are at the city. Now, before we go in and, and get our caravan going, we got some things that popped up. First off, Varchek is rebelling. This is a great opportunity to muster an army and go take it for ourselves. Uh, it's not a terrible idea, but here's the other thing. The Western Empire, we want to go to war with the Western Empire. There was a vote that passed. I'm not going to vote just yet because I don't want it to happen just yet. I mean, I want a little bit, a little bit more peace time. Um, but if we do go to war with the Western Empire, I'm not going to bother with Varchek. It's just not important right now. I'd rather take out the Western Empire because remember, guys, the whole goal of this campaign is basically to reunite the Empire, which is mostly this section here under one banner, which would be the Northern Empire. So anyways, uh, let's go in here and set up a caravan. All right. So we've got her back into the Swift Lady, back into our party. We need to now just talk to one of these merchants and they're gonna set up a caravan. It's been a while. Oh, do you know me? Oh, okay. Well, let's set up a caravan in here and we're gonna send you. Okay, so there's another caravan. Now we can set up another one because we have another companion that is out in the wild. Yeah, we have this uh, Norina the Ill-Starred. Now, originally we got her because she's honestly like She's pretty cool. Like, her smithing is better than our smith's smithing. You remember the smith guy? His smithing is only 67. Hers is 81. But we have a long history with this guy. So, I'm, you know, it is what it is. He's, 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 I'm not going to I'm not gonna just throw him to the curb like he's trash. But we're going to get her, and we're just going to make her a vendor, a, a caravan person. I don't really... I mean, we just need more caravans right now. I think some of my caravan people died... Because I swear I had a lot more than this. But we she's at this castle over here. So we need to go. Oh, right. We made her governor of this castle. Now she's just chilling here. Interesting. Interesting. Wait, is she a prisoner? Like, how do we... Okay, well, you know what we could do? If we go to war with the Western Empire, we could take this castle back. Uh, maybe we could just make her governor. That's not a terrible idea. Let's just head over there and see what happens. <laughs> Okay. All right. So we've uh, declared war against the we Western Empire. I chose not to vote just to delay it as long as possible. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take back this castle. It has only 56 defenders. So I think we'll be able to take it by ourselves as long as uh, no reinforcements show up or anything like that. So I'm not going to bother mustering up an army. I'm just going to use what forces I have. And I'm going to attack the sons of... Okay, here we are at the uh, the castle. We're going to start besieging it. So they have 62 actually now. Which is, again, not a problem. So... Oh, and then my castle's under siege. No, 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 no. No, you've got to be kidding me. I should have known. I should have known, guys. Oh my god. All right, hold on. I'm not doing this alone. I am going to muster up. Oh, everybody's so far away. Let's see, a day away. You guys are a day away. Come join me because we're going to go deal with whatever the hell's going on at my castle. All right, they've got 300, 400 troops right now. 400 troops. So it's not even that much. How many defenders do I have? 255. What are you going to do with 400 troops? You're not taking the castle you're just not and here comes some reinforcements look at that i've got some kuzate uh mercenaries joining me oh and you're actually attacking you idiots look at he's actually attacking guys all right we're gonna go in and destroy this hold on hold on i have some prisoners i have a lot of prisoners that want to join me 
I'm gonna just go ahead and let them all join even though it's more than I can that I can have in my army because it doesn't matter we're gonna go right into a battle and then if I have extra after the battle I'm just gonna put them in the castle so here we go oh yeah look at the balance of power they got no chance Okay, this is gonna be actually pretty cool. Now, remember, I have all my commanders, my my commanders in this uh, this army, so I'm able to to be able to put them with their right uh, forces here. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I am gonna use some of these Kuzate lords uh, to lead the horse archers, though, because I feel like that's just a better fit. All right, let's get this started. All right, so I've got my uh, line infantry in the front here, in shield wall. Not my line infantry. What is this? Napoleonic Wars? I got my infantry. My my sword and shield infantry in the front. And then the archers behind. Because people complain that I put my archers in the front. Uh, because, I don't know. I just, I'm used to playing like Total War. And you always put your archers in the front line like that. Uh, but they are moving forward. Some horse archers. They have 15. I've got 47. So I'm going to let my horse archers go attack. Kill them all! Now, I don't expect them to attack us, especially with only 66 archers. So, I'm going to make my way to uh, confront them. Holy sh holy crap, he is making his... Okay. Okay, this is really good. Uh, let's put my infantry down at the base of this hill. And then the archers kind of on the, on the hill. This is going to look awesome. This is awesome. All right, the arm is getting into place. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is so cool. My horses are waiting to charge. Get him, boys. I can't believe he's actually charging me. That's insane. All right, Cav, charge. Actually, cancel that. Cancel that. Oh, okay. Okay. Leave me alone. Stop shooting at me. Okay, okay. Cav, now charge. Swordsman, form line formation. And then charge. No, no, no. No. Soldiers! No, no, no. Charge. Charge. Charge! That's my bad. <laughs> there we go. Get them, guys. Get them. Okay, friendly. Sorry. I might have to turn on the battle, uh, you know, where they have their little icons over their heads. Just think, dark purple and gold is enemy. All right, we're absolutely crushing them, though. Good job. Boy, no, you're an enemy. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Good job. Look at that. Everybody just charge. Have yourself a field day. Where do you think you're going? Woo! We are cleaning them up. So I lost... I took about a little less than half casualties. Uh, but I, I don't think a lot of people died. Now remember, I've got a medic on the field now. So hopefully she can prevent some, uh, some, of, some of my soldiers from uh, dying. All right, there we go. The enemy is fleeing. We won the day. We only lost, wow, we lost 85. Wow, that's kind of a lot. That's all right, only 105. Well, more were wounded than dead, so that's good. So I guess uh, we got to clean up the 40 that escaped. We'll just send in the troops, finish it. Wow, we lost 12 there. Give me a break. That's okay. Um, you're my prisoner now. Prisoner. Who's this guy? Oh, did we free this guy? We got a Batanian we just freed. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh my gosh! We just unlocked 108 troops, and a lot of these troops are Batanians. Uh, yes. Holy smokes, this is really good. All right, so I'm taking all of them, okay? Because we're just going to put them in the castle. And then we've got some prisoners, which we'll max out. Holy smokes. I guess we could have... Oh my gosh. What a great battle. This. Look how stupid I am. I look like a stupid Sturgeon, but I... no offense. No offense. Oh, look at this armor. Holy... 
Yo, this was a great battle. This was a great battle. Got a better shield now. Look at that shield. Uh, a better, no, not a better horse. Great armor, great armor. This was a great day, a great day for the Northern Empire. So let's just head to the castle as quick as possible. 27 troops deserted from my army. Dude, give me a break. All right, so we got a lot of troops to put in here. I'm gonna go through and basically just the low tier troops, get them out. Uh, unless it's like an archer from the Batanians, any kind of militia, I'm gonna get out as well. Woo, that was hard. Uh, there's a lot of units I didn't wanna give up. We have a really good army here. I, I actually gave up a lot of archers Trying to go a bit more heavy, uh, heavy infantry, heavy here, heavy with the infantry, not with the archers. So uh, that was pretty sweet. Uh, we've really strengthened the garrison with some good units here. We can, we can always come back and take them into our army if we really need them. So it's not that big of a deal. All right. Well, the best defense is a good offense. Now, before we go on an offense, we need to muster up an army. Also, guys... They're sending 411 men over to us, I assume. So let's just call in some tr uh, some other vassals. We've got 53 influence, which is not a ton, but we're just going to get the cheapest uh, costing uh, lords to join us here. This might be it. I think that's all we can get. Yeah, that's all we can get. So we're going to wait for them to join us, and then we're going to go on the attack. All right, guys. So we have not gained all of our vassals, but we're going to move out. Hopefully, these other two will join us soon. We're going to go to this castle here because I have a feeling if we take it back, we'll, we'll, we'll get it back because originally, and usually this is how the game works. Whenever you take a castle that you once owned and you get it back, they'll give it back to you. They're also currently sieging this castle over here, so this might all work out all nifty like. So here we go. Also, I need more I need more territory, so I gotta take this. I gotta make more money here. I'm poor. I'm I'm losing money. A thousand a day. And there we go. They only have 74 defenders, so it's not gonna be a big deal. Okay, very, very, very good here. Hold on, let me pause it. So we've taken the other castle that I mentioned earlier. The other armies took, so that's very good. Uh, let's see if they're... Oh, they're not going to give it to me. I'm going to abstain because I need all the influence I can get. So congrats to this guy for uh, getting the castle. And then we've got the final vassal who's finally joining me. Uh, but I'm going to finish building this ram before we attack. Honestly, guys, I don't think we're going to need much. Like, I'm just going to I'm just gonna send in the troops because we have... Wow, I lost 61 men. That's ridiculous. Okay, whatever. Oh, well, I gained 16, so that's okay. And it brings us back up to positive. I'll actually take the extra two, uh, troops too. Uh, oh, and, and, and the prisoners, uh, because what I'm going to do is uh, put them in the castle. Okay, so I'm going to show mercy. And then I'm going to approach the gate here. Um, and we're going to go to donate troops to the garrison. All right, cool. So we donated six troops. We're back to the right level of forces for us. We're going to wait here for some time. Let's wait for the vote on this castle because we... Oh, there it is. And they they should give it to... Yep, they're going to give it to us. So that's great. That is perfect. We also have gotten a ransom offer. I'm just going to decline it because I'm tired of these vassals leaving and building new armies. So I'm just going to hold on to them. Now, we need to manage this castle, but before we do, we do need to get one of our um, our fellow clan uh, members here. That's kind of weird to say that. Anyways, uh, we're going to get her. We're going to tell her to recall this member to the party, uh, and then we're going to... I guess we have to wait here. Let's see. She should join us. There we go. She joined, so let's manage the castle. We're going to make her governor because, remember, she's the same culture of this castle and then we're gonna stop all the building stop it because it's making them upset we'll increase that to uh, 10,000 and that's good to go simple castle uh, management technique right there we also need to manage look look at this we gotta we gotta bring this back down to a thousand because since we lost the castle and took it back it kind of resets this so we're gonna put this at about 900 just under a thousand just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Now, there's only 42 defenders in this castle, but it's not like in the front lines. 
but I think we should really just keep on pushing and taking more territory. So I'm going to push and try to take this castle over here. It's kind of in a strange spot, but we got to push and take it. Okay, here we are at their castle. They've got 458 defenders. Oh, it's because they have a bunch of lords in here. They have a bunch of lords. So you know what? We're just going to leave. There's no point of doing that. Because uh, we just got to... Oh, there we go. It's already better. It's down to 118 now. They all left as soon as I showed up. Okay. Oh, there they are. Wait, were they sieging? Wait, hold on. Who are they at war with? No, wait. The Western Empire is at war with the Azerai and us? I thought they were attacking... Maybe they were attacking these guys, but then they had they formed a peace treaty. They're at, they must be at war with... I mean, obviously, they're at war with more than just one faction, so that's good. Um, I'm a little worried about all these lords here, but we're going to besiege the castle. Let's see if they try to rally and take us out. Okay, look at that. We've got the other armies joining us. You know what they say, guys. Great minds think alike. Now, there's 122 defenders here. Oh, we just lost some. Yeah, we lost some mercenaries. Ah, son of a gun. That's okay. That's okay. So what we're going to do is just build the ram. I'm going to send in the troops because it's not going to be the most exciting battle to watch. They killed 91 of us. That's that's ridiculous. Uh, but we got eight troops here, so that's helpful. All right, so we're going to show mercy, which is probably going to upset some people, which is fine because there's some vicious people in this, in this faction that want to see me burn it to the ground. Uh, let's just go ahead and request entry to the castle, and we're going to wait here for some time. You know what, guys? I think these armies are pretty depleted, so I'm just going to disband the army. And just chill here. Let them do their thing. Let's just relax. And let's see if we can get this castle. All right, here's a vote for the castle. Yes. Okay. It's a little close, but they should give it to me. Yes. Guys, we have three castles now. This is perfect. We're going to start making buku bucks. All right. So let's manage the castle. Now, unfortunately, we don't really have a governor. I guess we could send in somebody here, but it's not going to really help us out too much. I I'm just going to have a governor. It's just not going to have a governor. We're going to do festival and games that keeps them happy. And then we're going to put 10,000 in there once they're ready for building more stuff. Now, they only have 50 defenders here. And it looks like our armies are chasing down some enemy lords here. We should probably try to cut them off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's... There we it's go. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, look at this. So again, 702 to 50, not exactly the most exciting thing. So we're just going to, yep, yippity, yippity, dippity, doopity. All right. So this war has been going very well, to be honest. Uh, we've gained three territories, which, by the way, with our new territory, we are going to need to adjust the uh, money here. So we are making some money. There we go. And I'm going to stay close to these castles, make sure we don't lose these castles, because, you know, we it, it, it would suck. We don't want to lose them. I have a strong feeling that we're going to get a peace treaty from the Western Empire any second now. Our charm also leveled up. We're going to go for effort for the people. I think that's a good move. And now what we're going to do is continue to be vultures and try to get castles. There is a castle over here that we could try to try to get uh i guess i could try to get it by myself i do have a maxed out army they're pretty highly professional army uh we could try to get the castle ourselves uh if not we can always summon an army of 114 influence so that's always helpful uh but yeah this is uh this is all going well guys oh wait hold up hold up here hold up oh uh, i don't know if we can help yeah, we're not going to be able to. They have 253 men. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see this happening. Oh, what? You were attacked? I didn't even know. <laughs> well, they have 333 defenders in this castle, so I don't see ourselves taking it. Now, I am a little bit worried because that army we saw over here was shifting this way. So they might be coming over to try to take my castle over here. So I'm actually going to head back 
and just make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, there we go. We just won another big battle. You can see it with all the green text on the screen. Uh, we got a ransom offer. Ooh, for a good amount. I'm going to decline, though. <laughs> Money means nothing to me now. We're also a little low on food, so I'm going to get some more food. Also, we have a bunch of loot here that we can trade, so we should probably go and do that. Okay, so we got a bunch of food, 264, really nice food, cheese, beer, grapes, like really nice food, not a lot of grain. We couldn't even sell them everything because they would have gone in the negative, so we'll take the 32,000. Woo, woo, that's a lot of good money right there, I'm feeling good about that. And I don't see the enemy anywhere, so uh, I'm not too worried about this. Guys, everything seems to be going really well this episode. You know, I have a bunch of prisoners that are willing to join me. So I think what I'm going to do is actually before I join, because there's only 66 defenders in here and the other castles, we have 70. Uh, so I'm going to just go to my party and I am, that's the wrong button. I'm going to go to my party and we're just going to get everybody in here. Yeah, come on, join the fun. And then we're going to go to the castle and just put them as a garrison. Okay, there we go. So we did bolster up the garrison a little bit there, just by 14. It all adds up. You know, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I kind of, you know, I want to kind of take a city here. I think we should. How many, you know what? Let's do, oh, let's see how many defenders are over here. Because either this city or Rote would be a great addition to our arsenal of cities in castles. Well, they have 562 defenders. Honestly, for a city, that's not that much i mean it's it's a lot but i think if we match their numbers so let's just go with the cheap cheap uh forces that we can summon uh and we have 127 influence which is a decent amount so i'm gonna just grab what i can here so we're at 103 let's try to get one more army with a lot of troops 88 oh that's too much okay let's get rid of you okay we can get i think that that might be it that might be it yeah, I think that's all we can get, but that's all we need. So I'm just going to go up to this hill, wait for them to join me, and then we're going to attack. Oh my gosh, there's an army coming for me. Hold on. There's an army. Let's see if we can avoid this army. They're going to a castle to defend. I'm going to I'm going to try to scoop by. Yeah, he's not interested. He's not he's got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, he's traveling all the way to this castle to defend. Well, we took the castle, so that army did not get there in time. Let's see if they give it to me. No, they're going to give it to the emperor, which honestly, ugh, I kind of want to use some influence because this is the emperor and I want to get him on my good side. Well, to save time and to prevent any more lords from joining that city, I'm going to besiege it. Now, they do have a party of 32 in there. Which really isn't that much. So we're just going to go over there and siege it. They're at 578. Oh, no. The Sturgeons. Oh, dude, really? They've got... Oh, dude, that's so good. That's so good. They have two cities. They declared war on us. Ooh, you know what? I might... You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. I'm going to go north. Because this is going to be way easier. Now, my cities, my castles are under risk of, of being taken. But here's the thing. We can finish the Sturgeons. They have three cities. We can take all three. That's going to make us so much stronger. Let's start with... Let's actually go for these two because they're still connected to our, our empire. I'm going to go there. I'm going to siege it. It's going to work out. It's going to be awesome. Let's go. Oh, by the way, we leveled up our steward. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to go with gourmet here. Uh, morale bonus for having diverse food is doubled. That's pretty sweet. That's really good. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Look at this. They are angry. They're attacking this castle. They've got 200 defenders. So I've got 500 and then we got 300 over here. We are going to be outnumbered if we attack. Um... Okay, let's see if we can wait until they lower their numbers here a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just chill here. Do not attack, please. Do not attack. Are you... Oh, you're attacking like... 
morons. Alright, we gotta go in and help them out. We gotta go in and help them out. Oh, okay. Yeah, we outnumber them. We outnumber them. Okay. Yeah, we got this. Big time battle, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. Here we are. Now, remember, we're fighting with another army, so we need to try to stick together. I'm just going to tell everyone to follow me. We're just going to stick with their infantry and hope this all works out. I hate horse archers so much. So much, guys. Yeah, drop the banner, you scum. Come here. No more horse archers. You're done. And you know, it's nice fighting a faction that doesn't look so similar to you, and it's going to be a little bit easier to tell who's who. All right, now's the time we got to set up our forces. I'm going to go on the flank here. Troops! Everyone, move! Let's charge in our cav here. Charge, charge, charge. Ow. I'm posting up my army. Get out of here. You Sturgeons messed with the wrong empire. Soldiers! Forward! Soldiers! I'm gonna move up the soldiers here. The archers right here. This is getting a little chaotic, guys. A little chaotic. Tell the cab to charge. The horse archers to charge. Sorry, friendly. Tell the soldiers to charge. Bro, leave my archers alone. Sit down and shut up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. My army's going in and cleaning them up. I'm going to tell uh, those archers in the back. You know what? Let's get my archers. Push them up here so they can take on their archers. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Clean them up, boys. Ow. There we go. Fire away, fire away. All right, here comes some reinforcements. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to regroup near my archers. Soldiers, forward! I'm going to get my cav Move. back over here. Move. My infantry Move. to the front of my archers. And then we're just going to ride around and look for any weak uh, targets. Which is going to be their archers over here. There we go. Look at that. Soldier! Let's put my shield, my uh, infantry into shield wall. Oh, that's stand apart. Soldiers! That's not what I want. I mean, that kind of works too, but Troops! we want them in shield wall. Form a shield wall! Troops! I'm going to go ahead and move my cav to try to run down these enemy archers before the reinforcements show up. Did I just hear a camel? Oh, and here comes our reinforcements. Oh, my cab's having a tough time getting through our infantry. Uh, it's a bummer. Soldier. All right, cab, fall back here. All right, infantry, infantry. Put you in line formation and charge. Cav, charge. All right, let's go in there and have some fun. Having some fun. Ow, what the hell? This is not fun. Get them, boys. Get them. Yes, for the Empire. Got to be careful here. I don't want to die. My children are not ready to take over. We got more reinforcements, but I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to tell everyone to charge. Those final reinforcements are probably just a bunch of peasants. And look at they're running away. Oh my gosh. How adorable. You guys formed 
what looks like an army, but fights like a bunch of children. All right, there we go, guys. Victory. We chased them down. A great victory there. We lost some men, but we should still have enough to take a city. Um, unfortunately, 148 escaped. We're going to have to send in the troops again. It's not a big deal. We lost 17 men dealing with those guys, and we gained a lot of prisoners. We can't take them all, unfortunately. And, woo, we got some uh, good equipment here. So we're going to stop at some villages along the way just to, uh, you know, recruit some troops, try to bolster up our num our army again, our numbers again, and uh, and then go for, go for this city. Well, look at this a-hole over here. No, 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 no. You are not getting away. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. So, again, um, I guess we could ask him. Okay, well, uh, I'm not going to worry about other lords joining us. I'm just going to send in the troops. This is going to be an easy victory because they have no good troops. They're just... Oh, and look at this. We gained 14 men here. That's... Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, so we got our army up to 455. It's going to be a little bit higher once we get up there. And we're just going to go and siege. I don't know how many they have. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. look at all these lords. Yeah, go into the city. Herd them like cats. Yeah, come here. Oh, my gosh. Look at them all. And we have a baby boy. Oh, we, oh, we just lost a battle to the Western Empire. That's not good. But, hey, the good news is that we have a baby boy I believe yes this is gonna be the same little cutscene as before so we've seen it we'll move on okay actually I think this is a girl if I'm not mistaken she already has a, uh, a trait of merciful so that's pretty wholesome uh, let's give her a new name here you know this makes absolutely no sense for a name but I just thought it was funny so her name is going to be Thickus. So her whole name is Thickus. Well, you can you can finish the name. Okay, there we go. So, wow, they've got a thousand defenders. Holy crap. So, uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to besiege the city. Yes. Well, actually, no, it's only 800. Oh, wow. And the balance of power is almost even. So, we've got a little bit of influence, but unfortunately nobody wants to join us, or we they're already in an army. In this situation, we're going to have to build every single siege equipment we can, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we got some trebuchet here, ready to go. The fourth one's almost done. We've got to build all this siege equipment if we can. The trebuchet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them try to destroy as much as possible here of the enemy artillery because we we have to we have to get rid of it. Um but at the same time I would like to build some catapults. So I'm actually going to take this and build a catapult. Okay guys, so this is the situation. We j <laughs> the catapults are nasty. We just killed like 200 of their men, right? They were at like 800 we're at 504, so we've been gaining forces. They've been losing. We've got four catapults ready to go. We destroyed their walls. This is what you have to do to take these big cities like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add as many prisoners as possible to the army to max up our numbers. Let's go ahead and upgrade our troops as well. And we're going to charge in there, guys, and we're going to give them hell. Give them hell. Let's go. Woo! Here we go, guys. So, what's going to save the day here are the catapults. We could have just sat back and used the catapults in the campaign mode to uh, kill their infantry, but it's not as fun. I want to have a little bit of a battle here, and I want to make this a little bit more interesting for you guys to watch. So, let's just rush forward here and... Uh, Hope that our catapults do not kill some friendlies. Or me. Hopefully they don't kill me. Oh, they're charging out. What the hell? That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for charging out like this. Come here. Yeah. Epic battle time. 
You morons! Look how stupid they look. Come here, battle me! Battle me! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, I took an arrow shot there. Why did they sally out? I don't know. Okay, I gotta be careful. The archers are tagging me. They're hitting me. They be hitting me. Oh, you guys breaking? Yeah, get back into your hole that you call a city, which will soon be my city. I will gain this city of stone and I will turn it into a city of marble. Charge! Excuse me? Sit down. Get in there, boys. Give them the cold steel. This is really cool, though. Oh, this poor guy's stuck. Look at this poor guy. I'm about to unstuck you, stepsis. Oh! Clear out the fortifications. This is our city. Push. Oh, gosh. This is kind of scary. They have a lot of archers here. Okay. Okay. Wow, they killed me. Son of a gun. <laughs> Son of a gun. All right. Uh, I'm not dead, am I? I'm wounded. You know, you just never know these days. You just never know. All right, so my men should finish the job here. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote. We've cleared them out. They've got a little, yeah, get in there, yeah. So, and then the archers are gonna fire. So we, we, ex look at this settlement. This is such a cool settlement though. In terms of, def of a defense, uh, what is happening? Okay, victory, nice, all right. So we lost 118, quite a lot, but I'm hoping we gain a lot more. So we'll send in the troops. Uh, we lost five more. This is just the remaining troops that fell back to the castle. Uh, unfortunately, we only gained one troop here, but we're almost, I mean, we barely lost any. So that's pretty cool. Remember, we like over, overdid our army with prisoners. So do you get what I'm saying? Overdid, does that make any sense? Probably doesn't, uh, but nice, nice. We just took a settlement here. Gonna show mercy. And uh, thank you. And who's sieging over here? I don't, oh, I guess the, the Kuzates are. That's unfortunate. We could try to get this city over here, but it's gonna be disconnected from our empire. So we're gonna chill here for some time, let the army heal up, and then we're gonna move out. Well, actually, we do have ourselves a little bit of a situation. They're taking this castle over here. I don't, I assume that's the Sturgeons. I don't know how though. They can't, I don't know if they're actually going to pull that off. Let's see if they give us the city. No, we're not even on the board. Wow, I worked so hard to get that city. Okay, well, I see how it is. It's all right. It's okay. All right, so we're going to leave this city. It's got 40 defenders. Hopefully, it can hold. I have a feeling that that's not going to be the case. We're going to stop by these little villages and recruits and try to get back to uh, Vakor Castle. I'm also going to pay attention to this city in case they lose. There's a possibility. Um, I hope they do, but we'll see. Wow, look at this, guys. So I think they've begun the siege, and uh, they're probably going to lose. Uh, but we're going to just show up and just just to make sure, just to make sure. Let's assault the siege camp. We can just we can just send them in. We'll just send in the troops. Boom, just like that. Oh my gosh, we only lost 12 men. Beautiful. So the city did fall to the Kuzates. So that leaves only one city left for the Sturgeons. And I'm going to make a play for it. I'm going to make a move for it. Actually, and a castle. So that's two settlements. Then after that, we can go back south and deal with the 
um, Western Empire. It does appear that they took back this castle, but they have not attacked our castles, which is really good. And our castles have decent forces now defending them, so I'm feeling more confident that they won't get harassed. All right, so we've got an option here. Make peace with Sturgia. No tribute will be paid. Um, honestly, ugh. I'm going to abstain from this. I don't, I, I don't, I think we got to deal with the Western Empire. I'm not against this because even though we could steal more or take or conquer, I should say, more of the Sturgeon territory, I think it's good that we have some peace in the north so we're not, okay, there we go. Fine by me, fine by me. So the, Stur the Sturgeons made a huge mistake by declaring war on us. They're going to still, this is their kingdom now right here. We gain this. So, we definitely have been regaining some territory, which is nice, but we definitely need to head down south and uh, try to save, try to try to push back the Western Empire. I'm going to stop by uh, Epic here, as I like to call it, just Epic, because I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but we're going to trade, we got a lot of loot from those battles, so we're going to trade and then um, we're going to make some money. Woo, we're getting 49,000 from that. Holy smokes. All right, so we got a bunch of money from that. We're going to just ride around and hit up these villages and try to recruit more men. Just bolster up the numbers here because we have lost some troops in the previous battles. And then we're going to go and we're going to lay siege to this castle because it's just a pesky castle, ca castle, <laughs> castle that, uh, you know, it seems like our, our uh, other armies are. Wait, what? Oh, no! Wait, is this good or bad? Did we control this city? Oh, I think the... Ooh! Ooh! I want this city. This would be a good city. It's right next to my castles. I'm going back for it. So, I think this was a Valandian city that was controlling it. Rebellions have risen up. And now we can go and tame them. Let's do it. All right, here we are. Can we actually... Oh, can we not besiege them? Because they're technically not at war with us? Oh, I want to besiege them. Can we declare war on them? <sighs> All right, I guess... Dang it, I thought anyone could attack rebels. I am mistaken. That's too bad. That's too bad. Oh my gosh, we lost another battle. We're getting destroyed. Uh, I'm not even going to, I'm, I'm going to be honest. We're getting absolutely destroyed by the Western Empire. We need to, we need to fix this. Um, can I summon? Oh, I don't have enough influence to summon anymore. I just got to work with what I got. And honestly, I need a city. So I'm going to take this city over here. I'm coming to take it. We're back at Legate, Legata, Legata. We're taking it, dang it. 500 defenders, not even a big deal. Not even a big deal. We're going for it. All right, besiege the town. Now, the difference in, um, the power difference is not that bad. The balance of power. So let's just build the trebuchet. Same, same tactic. Actually, yeah, let's, let's actually do two trebuchet and then two catapults. Because I think the catapults just do so much damage. Like, they kill so much infantry. Oh boy, this is what I was afraid of. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, no. This is what I was afraid of. Um, no, there's no way. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, we, we got to back down. There's just too many of them. We're going to leave. But unfortunately, they're probably going to catch up to us, aren't they? Yep. Whoa! Our balance of power is not terrible. I'm biggest. Uh, we don't have to come to blows. Um, oh, dang it. We don't have to come to blows. Our realm should make peace. Uh, dang it. What are you offering? Okay, they're gonna offer. They're gonna let me go for 46k. I'm gonna accept it. I'm gonna accept it. Because I'm not losing my army. I know that's a lot of money gone. But, hey, you know what? This wasn't the worst maneuver because we've gotten a lot of them. Are they still coming for me? I think they're still coming for me. They are still coming for me. Can we Can we not? There we go. Come on. 
Come fight me. Hold on. Don't abandon me. Don't abandon me. Not yet. Oh, dang it. Oh, no. My my thing is glitch. Look. You see this? Whenever time I try to increase cohesion, it's like negative a million. Billion. Oh, jeez. Now, will they fight me? I kind of I kind of need to fight now. Okay. See, they're just waiting. They're just waiting to attack. Oh, jeez. All right, well, let's just try to get these men out of here. Because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to destroy the army and then recreate it. It kind of sucks. Oh, and then they're attacking us. Oh, dang it. Stop Our there. Who are you? It is better we know each other's names. Yeah, I'm biggest. I'm biggest. Okay, um... Dang it. Wow, we're heavily outnumbered, but the balance of power doesn't look too bad. Um, if we could pull off a victory here, eh, this might be possible. Then we'll get a bunch of influence. Uh, it might be possible. Here we go. We need a miracle. Oh, look at this beautiful battlefield. Nice lush green and no hill whatsoever to, uh, to stand on. There's a little bit of a slope over here that we could kind of use, but that sucks. All right, well, they've got a lot of calf. Uh, I don't know how many archers they have. I'm seeing a three over there. Is that, that better not be like 300. Oh, oh, they have 307 archers. How exactly do we have good odds here? Because I don't, I just don't see it. I, I just don't see it. Soldier! We got some horse archers over here. I'm going to try to deal with real quick. Come on, get them guys. Get them. Get them. All right, so my biggest fear here... Oh, look at this a-hole over here. Look at you! Yeah, you're dead. My biggest fear here is their archers. And I guess their cav. So we need to figure out a way... I, I guess I need to charge them, but that almost never works. I'm hoping he just charges us and not just stand there. It does appear that he is moving forward. Right? Please? No, he's just standing there. We could try to win an archer battle, but I don't think it's going to happen. No, this isn't going to happen. We got to get our infantry up there. I'm going to move up the infantry. The cab's going to follow me. Actually, Cav, go to the flank over here. Horse archers. Attack. My guys, shield wall, shield wall. Shield wall. I don't know, guys. I mean, I don't know. All right, infantry, get you in the line and charge. Cab, charge. I might have been a little too early. Okay, we're still, I mean, we're still in this. I'm gonna try to focus down the archers. This is really risky. My archers are still giving them a good fight. My infantry is pretty much toast now. The infantry died for a good cause, I guess. Oh, not good. Get off your horse. I need a horse. Here we go, here we go. My horse died, or at least is wounded. Uh, 
Nice. Alright, reinforcements are coming. There we go. I kind of forgot about the reinforcements. I have a ton of archers back here. Here comes more cav. They mostly just have infantry. Come on, guys. Come on. Hold the line. Hold the line. Dang it. Oh, shoot. Come on. Hold the line. Hold the line. All right, let me get this horse over here. Yes. Wait, they have 189 infantry back there? What? All right. My infantry, let's fall you back. Cav 2. Just, let's just sit back with the archers. We got to win this. This is going to be insane if we can. We got to win this. All right, come on. Regroup, regroup. We got this. We got this. We're going to win this. My cab chilling in the back. My infantry is about to chill in the back. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sit back here. My archers are absolutely being heroes of the day. Absolute heroes. Get them. All right, here comes our reinforcements. It's just... A little bit of hocus pocus. No, it's it's a it's just infantry. So that's good. Okay, let's just let's do this. So what I'm gonna do? I only have ten infantry. I'm gonna put them in loose formation. Soldiers. Let's do yeah, loose formation F3. Infantry. And then I'm just gonna put them amongst the archers. Just kind of help against enemy infantry. Um, they, I think at this point it's mostly peasants, so we are outnumbered, but my skill of troop is, is much higher. Move! Yeah, move to the flank. Come on, open fire, guys, open fire. A lot of my archers are out of ammo. Cab charge. All right, we got to kill their cab big time. Oh, yeah, these are just peasants. These are just peasants. But their cab is scary. I don't know why they have such elite cab here. All right, come on, guys. Come on, come on, hold, hold. Oh, come on, the peasant. Come on, hold. Holy crap, this is gonna be down to the wire. Hold. Oh, no, we're losing. No, guys, don't break. Fight. We can win this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Am I going to have to single-handedly win this battle? No, come here. Oh, boy. 54? I have no health. No health. All right, so we have five cav. They have no archers. Hey, hey, leave my soldiers alone. 52. All right, let's go for the stragglers. Go for the stragglers. Nice. I don't know how he did damage to me, but whatever. My five cab is still alive. I'm going to tell him to just ride with me. Yeah, ride with me. Nice. 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 Okay, move. Get away from this infantry. Get away from the infantry. Ride with me. Guys, get away from the infantry. Oh, we're down to one horseman now. What the heck? Okay. So 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the horseman. And then we're going for the infantry. Yes. Oh no. Infantry's alive. He just got wrecked. Alright. Great. He's so screwed. Honestly, dude, just Footman! Just run away. Forward! You're you're just gonna get killed by this infantry. Yes. Let me deal with this last cab guy. Ah, oh, he blocked me. Oh, come on, dude. Keep running. Oh, come on. I want to win this so bad. Okay, there's your stupid horse. Yes! Alright. Infantry! Infantry! Forward! Move! Keep running. Keep running. No, 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 no. Don't fight. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's going off. Ah, uh, they got him. They killed him. You sons of bitches. Alright, so I really... This is how I'm going to win this battle. I really have to, like, position myself well with this weapon as far as possible because some of them have spears. See, that was too far. And I don't think I have to kill them all. I think eventually they will break. But if they hit me, I think I'm done. So I cannot let them hit me. I'm going to try getting on a different horse. This horse is a uh, little less than half. Let's see if this one's any better. Oh yeah, this one's better. Just to, uh, just in case my horse gets hit. Ah, I'm just too afraid, guys. I'm too afraid. But this is the right plan of action here. This is uh, the right move. I'm gonna be honest, I wish I had a bow. I really do wish I had a bow. Oh, there we go. Woo! Okay. There goes another one. We're down to 40. Alright, we're almost in the 30s. Almost in the 30s! Alright, in the 30s. Alright, here we go, here we go. Oh, they blocked it! Come on! They get, ah! Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with this. Getting a little bit more confident. Now, I can't let my guard down. Because, but I, I just feel like at this, this maneuvering here, like, they just can't hit me thanks to this weapon. Like, if I'm just, you know, and look at the balance of power. It's starting to get a little bit closer. They're, uh, halfway through the 30s. I'd love to kill the Bannerman. You know, get him out of there. That would be pretty sweet. There it is. 20 men. 29. Alright, guys. They're down to 10 now. 10. Alright, they're almost in single digits. This is it. Oh, I don't like that tree there, though. There we go. Okay, that worked out. All right, they're at nine. Guys, I think they're going to fight to the last. I was hoping they would break here, but I guess we really do have to kill them all. I got the banner. Six. Someone else is just going to pick it up. Okay, I'm getting a little too little too confident here. It's six. We're, we're, we're close. This is it. Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh, man. If, imagine if one of these guys kills me. How freaking upset I would be. Okay, hold on. Whew. Whew. We're going to do this. I'm going to be the last one standing. One. One guy. They literally did not break. Oh my gosh. 
Come here. No, no. No quarter for the Craven. You can't make this. You cannot make this stuff up. You know what? <laughs> Fine. Fine. Dude, I should have just dismounted. I should have just dismounted and fought him. What was I thinking? <laughs> the last guy kills me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. It is what it is. Wait, wait. I can still win this. Wait, I can still win this. Hold on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> because of my troops that retreated. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. The last guy kills me. I'm biggest. Yeah, you're... And give me these troops. So oh, we have... Oh my gosh, dude. That was crazy. That's so funny. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. All right. Give me all this. Woo! All right, we got to get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to disband the army. Yes, and then I don't even care. We got to get out of here, so I'm dropping everything. I'm dropping everything. Okay, all right. That actually didn't... That, that worked out because um, by giving stuff away, my troops gain influence. Oh, no, we're disorganized. No. Okay, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to pay my way out of this. I'm going to have to pay... Oh, they didn't get me. They didn't get me. Oh my god, run! Run! Oh, I made it! I made it! They killed literally everyone else but me. <laughs> Guys, get to the castle. Dude, this... Dude, say what you want. Wait, why are we so slow? Why are we so slow? Oh, the prisoners. It's because of our prisoners. Alright, we'll let all these prisoners in. Let them in. Um, we got a ton of leveling up here. I'm going to let most of these prisoners go, except for the lords. Okay, okay, there we go. We should be faster now. We should be faster. There we go, much faster. Whew. Whew. Dude, the Western Empire is no joke. They are no joke. Uh, give me all these archers. Give me, give me. All right, I think we got to end the episode here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a crazy episode. Say what you want about a longest dongest. Biggest dickest. All right, I'm just going to say it. Um, absolute Chad. I mean, talk about some of the craziest battles that we've ever seen in a playthrough. It, it, at least I have ever seen. Um, it's, I, and I, it's so funny. Just so funny that we died to that last guy of that battle. Now, thankfully, my retreating forces regrouped and pushed. Uh, but that was just so funny. Um, I'm so I'm laughing so much right now. No, um, but seriously, we're gonna end it here. Let's just take a break. Sit in the Lord's castle. Let's go to the Lord's hall, and we gotta regroup. And thankfully, we're gonna keep most of our army intact. Oh, what is this pile of junk? Oh my God, this castle's garbage. Look at this junk. Junk hole. I don't even want this filth. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, that's okay guys Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. It's been absolutely insane Don't forget to subscribe. It does mean a lot if you would do that uh, like share do all that stuff guys It helps me out a ton. I appreciate appreciate it. Love you guys. See you next time Cal Radia. Ah.